Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing on our posts. And genuinely, thank you for watching. Um, please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just drop the name or the link down in our comment section below and I'll be glad to check it out. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Say hi, we'll say hi back. Check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content we put out. So today, I'm going to be reacting to an angry Christian pastor versus Dr. Zaki Naik. Uh, this ought to be interesting. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Dr. Zakar. You said there isn't any mistake in Quran. I see more than 20 mistakes in Arabic grammar. And I will tell you some of them. Brother, he said in Baqarah and Hajj, which is right. Asabi'un or Asabi'in? Number one. Number two. Brother, he one, said, brother one question one at question. a time. Yeah, please. but at the same uh, thing, he said in Surah Taha 63, Inna hadhani la sahiran. Mistake. Inna hadhani la sahiran. Can you explain that? And there is more than that uh, mistake. Brother, brother will allow you only the one. first part of the question. The second part will not allow because we have stated we'll allow okay. one question at a time so others get a chance to. Okay. The brother has asked a very good question. I would like to be more concordant and agreeing. He has mentioned all 20 grammatical points. And the book is referring to by Abdul Fadi. Abdul Fadi, correct? Is the Quran infallible? I can yeah. see some things. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, my side is good. <laughs> I will answer all 20 together. Because I've read the book. I'll answer all 20, inshallah. Inshallah. Point number one, brother. Point number one. Point number one to be noted that all Arabic grammar is taken from the Quran. Quran was the highest Arabic book, a book which has the maximum level of highest literature. All the Arabic grammar has been derived from the Quran. Quran is the textbook of grammar. Since Quran is the textbook of grammar and all the grammar is derived from the Quran, the Quran can never have a mistake. Point number one. <laughs> point number two. Point number two. Point number two. It is like you know taking a ruler and the ruler is there, has a measurement, and you're saying the measurement is wrong. It sounds illogical. Point number two. In the different tribes of Arabia, and you know Arabic, and Dr. William Campbell also will agree with me. In different Arabic tribes, the grammar keeps on changing. In some Arabic tribe, the word is feminine. The same word is even masculine in the other tribes of Arabia. In different tribes, the grammar keeps on changing. Even the gender keeps on changing. So will you check Quran with that faulty grammar? No. And furthermore, the eloquence of Quran is so high. It's so high, it is far superior. And you know there are various books on the internet you go 12 grammatical mistake 21 grammatical mistake Abdul Fadi 20 grammatical mistake do you think the Christian people took out these mistakes who took out these mistakes do you know who took out the Muslims the Muslim scholars like Zamakshari what they did that the Quran grammar is so high that it goes against the conventional use of the Arabic the Quran grammar is so high to prove the Quranic grammar was high they gave examples and I'll give you a couple of examples which will answer all these 20 questions. They give the example, like we read in the Quran, it says that the people of Lut, salam, they rejected all the messengers. They rejected the messengers it's mentioned. Dr. William Campbell said, the people of Noah, they rejected the messengers. We know from history that there was only one messenger sent to them. So it has a grammatical mistake. Quran should have said, the people rejected the messenger, not messengers. I agree with you. With layman grammar, like how you and I know, it may be a mistake. But if you read the books written by Arabs, 
What is the beauty of the Quran? The beauty of the Quran is, why does the Quran refer messengers instead of messenger? You know why? Because we know that the basic message of all the messengers was same. That there is one God. About Tawheed. About Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By mentioning the people of Ruth alayhi salam, the people of Noah rejected the messenger. It says by rejecting Ruth alayhi salam, they are indirectly rejecting all the messengers. See the beauty. See the eloquence. Alhamdulillah. You may think it's a mistake. It's not a mistake. Similarly, people like Anush Suraj says that Quran says, Kun fa yakun, be and it is. It should be kun fakana, be and it was. Agreed, okay, past tense is kun fakana in Arabic. It's not kun fa yakun, but the kun fa yakun is more superior. It says, Allah, it was, it is, and can do. Past, present, and future. Thank you, Dr. Naik. I've actually reacted to this, but under a different title. So, um, I'm really trying to collect my thoughts. Yes, the Quran is the word of God. Yeah, no doubt. But the fact that when um, Muhammad was narrating what was said to his, what was it called, not disciples, um, what's the word? I've forgotten it. No, no. The people that Muhammad was surrounded by, the ones that were taking down what he was writing, um, the ones that were writing are human beings. The fact that it was different writers taking down different notes before the Quran was um, one, doesn't it only make sense that someone else may have used a different term from the next person to them? Because as long as I feel like as long as a human being is um, involved, they're bound to be errors. It's like playing Chinese whisper. The the thing that I say, what the next person says, until the last person hears whatever is being said, the message sometimes is totally off. The message there may be a new word added and all that, but um, I don't. The fact that I, what I love about Dr. Zakir Naik's answer is the fact that he, not only him but other Muslims as well would defend um, the Quran just the way he defended it and say no that's not an error and they explain it the way they explain it to say it's not an error. That's the kind of unity that um, stays amazing to me. That's the kind of unity we all seek in this world for someone just to support something and not say anything to them and even if it were a mistake i don't think they would ever come out and say yes it was a mistake i highly doubt that would be the case and that would because it's that it's the quran it's their own word they do with it the, the best they know how to and um life goes on Otherwise, I'll always say I don't get why you have to find wrongs in Christianity, in whatever religion it is, so that we point out the wrongs. We point out the wrongs, then what? That doesn't mean the religion will cease to exist tomorrow. No, it won't, you know. Otherwise, always search for the good in something. Always seek the good. Always see the good. Mistake, no mistake. Blunder, no blunder. Whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've already reacted to this. If there's anything you guys want me to react to, let me know down below. Just drop the name, the link, and I'll check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it to the friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.